Hi guys, I want to see if I can get back on track with this old project that I never properly finished. You may have seen in some previous videos I did mention that I managed to burn out the motors. Uh, these are 3.7 volt electric motors and I accidentally ran them with a 2S battery so I put double the power through them and three of the four overheated. So what I'm going to do is replace all four of them with four new motors that I've got. These ones actually come with propellers and they're matched pairs so we've got left and right handed propellers so we can put them either side so we get a balanced thrust. They're actually slightly smaller than the motors I had in there but I was overpowering it so maybe the smaller motors will be okay. So I need to make up little cross brackets and I glue them in place with two pack epoxy. I've just soldered some connectors onto the wires that go to the motors just to make it a little bit easier to deal with later on. This probably looks a bit more complicated than it really is because there's four of everything. So we've got the four motors. Each of those I've put these small connectors on and then I've fed the four of them in parallel into this one bigger connector which is compatible with my ESC that I've got here that's currently connected to the steering motors. So we can plug that into there. Keep all the wires away from the spinning propellers. This is just for convenience, that's five 1S LiPos. I can't remember what milliamp hours they are but they're quite small but they happen to be all bundled up in parallel again so it's still only a 1s lipo but however many milliamp hours each one of those was individually we've got five times at the moment I probably won't use all five but they're there so we can stick that one into the receiver make sure nothing well I'll hold it in my hand so there's nothing going to get into the propeller blades. Switch on the receiver. Switch on the ESC. Okay, that particular ESC gives us reverse because it's the one for the steering. There's not much point in having reverse for the lift motors. Well, everything's plugged in. Let's see if it works. In my haste to demonstrate it working, I'd forgotten there was a few things I needed to do. Because I'm using smaller motors with smaller propellers I needed to enclose the rather large holes that were there for the bigger propellers. So I've now just put styrofoam discs over there to fill up the holes so that we've just got just enough space for the propellers to turn and then to keep the wires away so they don't fall into the propeller blades I've used styrofoam cups just cut them down in size so that keeps it all neat and tidy and that's made a significant difference to the amount of air pressure building up underneath instead of being able to escape back through the holes it's all been forced underneath I think you'll be able to see the difference in the lift
So we're well out of the water now. I still need to find a puddle to test it in, but that's made a significant difference. Need to get the balance right again, it was tilting over to one side you might have noticed. But that's because I've just got everything laying loose on top. That'll do. Well, I think that demonstrates I don't have a clue how to control it, but it's certainly working. Summary time. What have we got? We've got my old quad hovercraft that I put to one side when I burnt the motors out. I've replaced the motors. Uh, they're, I can't remember what length they are, but they're quite small coreless motors meant for things like hub sands and other small helicopters and aeroplanes. They're running off a 1S battery, although I've got five of them, they're all parallel together. The idea is I should be able to spread them out and get the balance right, which I haven't done. As you can see, they're just piled up in the middle. And from the flights, you could see that it was tipping one way or the other, depending on which way they would fallen when they hit something. Steering is also two small coreless motors. They're working in parallel, but they've got contra-rotating propellers. Oh, so have these. So we've got, um, what have we got? Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. So that should all balance so we don't get it spinning under torque. We've got two ESCs in there. One for the motors and one for the drive motors. And we've got an ordinary radio controlled servo there that just turns the steering like that. It's a bit wild, the steering. I haven't got a clue 
how to control it. As you could see, it was going everywhere other than where I wanted it to. Uh, but that's it. Next step will be to go and try it on a puddle or something. I think a puddle rather than a lake. I might lose it out on the lake. So that'll do for now.